frustrating. I mean, as a first responder, it is so frustrating that I cannot get a free test. Really? Come on. I mean, we're, we're putting our lives on, on the line. One local first responder says he comes face to face to COVID on a regular basis as a volunteer, but he says he has trouble finding places to get tested. He says the tests should be free and convenient to those who serve the community. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for WENY News at 11 o'clock. I'm Nick Quatrini. So far, that first responder says he has racked up $2,600 in medical bills to get tested every time he's exposed to the virus. WENY's Marsha Augustin spoke to this first responder who wants to know why people like him can't get tested for free in a convenient way. Marsha. That's right, Nick. This volunteer local firefighter and EMT did not want to be identified. He says his job puts him at high risk exposure to the coronavirus, responding to about two COVID-19 related calls every week. Because of this, he says he needs to get tested regularly. Give us a free test. That, that's all I'm asking. I'm not asking for a lot. The problem this local firefighter says, it used to be easy accessing free COVID testing, but not anymore. I think first responders, whether it be law enforcement, EMTs, paramedics, firefighters, should have access to free COVID testing. Many local pharmacies do offer free testing. However, he says they require registering, creating an account, and setting up an appointment online. He says he is not computer savvy, plus appointments are a week out. He contacted Steuben County regarding free testing. Could I have it? Absolutely. But you don't know because I can't afford to pay the $253. He explains there should be a designated place like a local hospital or clinic where first responders have access to free testing. They said, well, we have free testing, but it's in Hornell. So that's an hour drive for me. He explains he was recently exposed to a COVID positive patient who passed away. He hasn't been tested yet. He's afraid of what that bill will look like. I think that's only fair. We're putting our lives on the line. I don't think it's too much to ask. I really don't. This first responder added he loves his job and enjoys servicing the community. He's vaccinated, however, says he can still contract COVID because of his job. He added he is racking up bills left and right and believes the state or county should pay for testing.